if people could see home as a sacred treasure, then the whole world would be that much more of a sacred treasure. Look at this. All of our doughs. All of the doughs are hanging out in a temporary shelter. Well, almost all of them. Looks like little Rogue and Bonnie are in their regular shelter. I think they like this admittedly crappy looking little shelter because it has kind of a greenhouse effect on some of these colder mornings. I want to give another shout out to one of our viewers, Ari. She had her mom give me this friendship bracelet that she made. See? It has a smiley face on it. Thanks, Ari. With all the rough work that I do out here, I'm afraid that it'll just break if I wear it. But there's somebody else I'd like to give it to. Shenanigan our invisible forest fairy will probably love it. Shenanigan, I have a present for you. Hello. It never takes you long to appear when I say those words. I wanted you to have this friendship bracelet from Ari. Yes, she was. She was the one who painted one of our goats. I don't know, she might. She's asking if Ari would like to paint a picture of her. It would be a lot easier, Shenanigan, if you weren't invisible. I'll let him know. If anybody out there wants to paint a picture of Shenanigan, you just have to use your imagination. One thing I can suggest is to be sure to surround her with beautiful things from nature. Anyway, Shenanigan, this bracelet is clearly way too big for you to wear as a bracelet. I was thinking you could loop it around your shoulders and wear it like a sash. Want to try? Very nice. I'm not sure if it makes her look more like Miss America or Chewbacca with his bandolier. <laughs> What the heck was that for? Full disclosure, Shenanigan did howl, but it didn't sound exactly like that. She gave a pitch perfect rendition of Chewbacca. I was able to find a sound file online of Chewbacca, and I wish I could have put it in this video. I just wasn't sure that for copyright reasons that it would be legal for me to do that on YouTube. So, in my video description, I'll put a link to that site and you can play the Chewbacca sound so you know what Shenanigan actually sounded like. Did I offend you with my Chewbacca comparison? Really? 
shenanigan has been in beauty pageants before for fairies. I guess yelling and growling is a normal part of their competition. It's a way to intimidate the other contestants. I'm guessing you were never in the running for Miss Congeniality. I was surprised. I probably should have been more surprised, but I know your ways are very different from ours here in the human realm. What I want to know is how could it possibly be fair for you, Shenanigan, to compete in a beauty contest? I mean, nobody else could possibly even have a chance. No, I don't believe it. No, I don't believe it. She didn't win. Well, at least now you have a sash of your own. No, I can't actually declare you to be Miss America or even Miss Oregon because I'm not a judge in those contests. You could be Miss Ivy Acres Homestead if you wanted. Sure. It's fine if you're not actually competing against anyone. Only thing is, you have to prove yourself worthy in each of the pageant categories. Which category would you like to start with? Ah, uh, the swimsuit competition. Good choice. Go ahead, walk up and down, show us, or me at least, what you've got. I mean, I mean how physically fit you are and how much charisma you have. I'm looking forward to this category. Being able to magically create your own clothes is pretty cool. Come on out, shenanigan, whenever you're ready. Stunning. She has outdone even my high expectations. Going with the Ivy Acres theme, she has vines of ivy braided into her hair that then cascade down and weave themselves into her gown. It's elegant and sexy with a low cut bodice. Much of it is an almost translucent silk. The ivy sweeps back from her face like, like a bridal veil that's been pulled back. The ivy is somehow not overwhelming, which could have been very easy. You might have end up looking like just a big bush or a camouflaged deer hunter. You can do anything you want for the talent part, shenanigan. Don't be shy. Okay, whisper it in my ear. No, a striptease is not an appropriate talent. Maybe I can give you a few suggestions. You could recite a poem or sing a song in your native fairy language. No? Well, I know you can dance. You do dance beautifully, shenanigan. I'm compatible enough with her kind to see and hear her when she allows me to. But unfortunately, I'm not compatible enough to hear the music of magic that she dances to. You were dancing to music, right? I thought so. You know, it might be even more mysterious and interesting for me having not been able to hear that music. Her dance was telling a story. She was spying on someone at first. Someone she clearly wanted to be able to see her. At first she was a little afraid of being seen, but by the end she was exuding pure joy when he could see her 
and liked what he saw. I'm sorry, I just have to describe her talent for you. If you had gone with the poem idea, I could have recited it and given a translation. My lower back has been acting up and I've really got a, a terrible pain shooting down my leg. So I'm not even going to try to demonstrate any of her more acrobatic moves. Incidentally, a number of folks have asked about the biopsy results for that polyp from my colonoscopy. I mentioned it a few videos back. I'm happy to say on that front, all good, everything. Even if I was 100% with my leg and back, there's no way I could be as limber as Shenanigan is. Plus, as a forest fairy, she's not exactly constrained by conventional gravity. That's a good point. If anybody out there is interested in painting her picture, you might want to Google the artist Mark Chagall. The interview portion is a very important part of beauty pageants because we want to know that our contestants are lovely on the inside too. It gives us a chance to see what you care about and to see how you think. So my question for you, Shenanigan, is what should we be doing to make this world a better place? That's an easy one. Plant more trees and flowers and take the time to appreciate the beauty they provide. That's an interesting platform we should take time to smell the roses. We should also take time to do a little pruning and some weeding and watering too. To be honest, Shenanigan, I was hoping for an answer with a little more substance. I agree with you that it's important, but with everything going on in the world right now, planting trees and flowers seems a little superficial. Let me come at this from a different angle. I don't think I've ever asked Shenanigan, have you ever had children? No. Are you offering me something, Brian? Charming. Generally speaking, if she had had children, that would disqualify her from being declared Miss Almost Anything. I know we're fairy bonded, but that's technically not marriage so you still do qualify anyway if you did have children why would it be important for us to leave a better world for them if we plant more trees and flowers there will be more trees and flowers for them to look at and dance around maybe humans just worry about different things than fairies do you could have said that it would help offset carbon emissions, maybe do a little bit to help slow global warming. We do need to worry about these increasingly long droughts that we're having in the West, as well as sea level rise and increased tornado and hurricane frequency in other parts of the country. Being an advocate for anything shenanigan means articulating not just what needs to happen, but why it should. Why is it important for people to plant trees and flowers and take the time to appreciate them? If people could see home as a sacred treasure, then the whole world would be that much more of a sacred treasure. Wow, shenanigan. That actually does say it all. And small changes do make a difference. In fact, I'm inspired to plant some flowers right now. We'll come back to the final pageant category in just a moment. Peggy, a friend of mine, has given me some home-saved seeds from her garden. 
Thanks, Peggy. Down here in the ravine, I'll plant some of the columbine, and the marigold will go up closer to the house. We should be past the last frost date here in Oregon, but just to be on the safe side, I won't plant all of these seeds right now. That way I can replant later if I need to. You shouldn't be digging a hole to plant these kind of seeds. These little columbine seeds are so tiny, you should just sort of smoosh them in a little bit. And the marigolds just barely get covered with soil. I won't need to water these things right away because it's gonna start raining here pretty soon. But if you do water these things, you need to be gentle about it so the water doesn't just wash the seeds away or move them out of place too much. What? It's a traditional, time-honored competition. You're right. It's a little sexist these days. You don't have to do it. Shenanigan has proven herself more than worthy of the title Miss Ivy Acres Homestead. You want a crown too, not just the sash? Hold on, let me see what I can do. It might be just about the right size if I wrap this around my finger like this what do you think would that fit cool she just transformed the twig into a crystal tiara that's just about right Wowzers, the whole getup is now combined with that wet t-shirt. You are so right, Shenanigan. It is better when it's spontaneous and non-compulsory. <laughs>